What's up guys, Chigs here from Chigs Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the latest MXQ Cube S10X. Now this box is running the official Android TV OS version 7.1. It's powered by the S905X quad core CPU, which is the same old CPU you will find in the Xiaomi box. And even the packaging reminds me of the Xiaomi box packaging. Now this does look like it's the official Android TV OS, but we will be confirming that a little later in the video. Furthermore, you have the Mali 450 with two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. There is also dual band Wi-Fi with 100 megabyte LAN, Bluetooth version four, and you have a built-in microphone and speaker to function that far field voice control. So what that means is you'll be able to control this TV box with your voice without even touching the remote control. So I do look forward to testing that out. Now the box also supports 4K at 60 frames per second, HDMI version 2.0A and 5.1 surround sound. Now the box itself is quite compact in size. It's made completely from plastic with a matte finish, MXQ logo on the top, nothing on the front. And on this side, we have two USB ports with a reset hole in the middle. If we keep going, we've got a micro SD card slot, a 100 megabyte LAN, HDMI out and your power socket and on this side there is nothing and that brings us back to the front and this is what the bottom of the TV box looks like so inside the box you will find a user manual HDMI cable I have a UK power adapter and the voltage is 5 volts to a this also comes with a remote control which is powered by two AAA batteries so without further ado, let's go ahead and get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and find out exactly how good this TV box really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 26 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen for this box. So this is Google's Android TV OS version 7.1. So in the top left, we have our search options and on the right, you can see the local time. So the first row is your featured section showing you what to watch next, followed by a row of apps which are installed already on this box. And at the bottom, you've got your settings, Wi-Fi connection information and your app drawer. So first of all, let's check out the settings and head straight over to system storage info. This box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which you have 11 gigs free to use. Now, if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this is running Android version 7.1.2. Now, quickly going into Droid settings to show you guys something. Over here, you can see the Netflix ESN, and it says here, Xiaomi Trial, um, followed by Amlogic S10X. S10X is the model number of this box, but I don't understand why it says Xiaomi Trial. So there's a hint there that Xiaomi is either part of MXQ, which is unlikely, or this box is not official. So let's keep looking. Now, another reason why this box is not running the official version of Android TV OS is there is no Google Chromecast. So just above network, it should say Google Chromecast. It's not there. And that raises flags to me straight away that this box is not officially Google certified. Now let's have a look at the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet and you do have quite minimal apps included to begin with. You've got Netflix, YouTube, DRM info, a file manager, movie player, and of course the Google Play Store. And this is gonna be the Android TV version of the Play Store. So if I open it up just to show you, all the apps are designed to only work with Android TV OS. So yes, it's quite limited range of apps and games, but you can sideload any app or APK you like. So now I'm going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive, and I will be doing this with the Kodi Media Player I just downloaded from the Play Store. So let's play the first file. So 
So moving on now to the YouTube test and you can stream a maximum of 4K in YouTube. So let's see how it plays. and overcut. I'm aware. This is your territory. It's your responsibility. So fix it. You got it? You're dealing with an expert with guns. With knives. Rambo was the best. Now I am quite pleased to say that Netflix Ultra HD 4K is supported on this TV box. So thereafter I had to sideload Amazon Prime Video but every time I try and play a movie or TV show I would get an error. So Amazon Prime Video is not working on this box. So we are now moving on to the gaming test beginning with Crossy Roads. So I have the MXQ connected to my laptop via a capture card and what we're going to be testing is the far field voice control. So you'll be supposed to be able to control your TV hands free from across the room. Now that's not completely true. I have not found a way to activate that voice control without using the remote control. So usually in a Google TV box you could just say OK Google and something would happen but as you can see nothing has happened. Now what we do have here is a remote control with a microphone button. Okay now this remote has a mic button but it doesn't actually have a microphone built in. So what you do is you press this once, it activates the voice control at the bottom and then the microphone that's inside the TV box can hear everything you're saying and you can see what happened there. So far field voice control does work but to activate it you need to press the button once. Now I have used another box which uses far field voice control. It's actually an Amazon Fire Cube and that box had real far field voice control where you don't need a remote control. You can just say OK Google and it will get activated. Now I did try to go to settings and try and activate the OK Google command but I could not find that anywhere and I did have a good look. So right now the only way to use the far field voice control is to activate it like this first of all. The latest 2019 movie trailers. And you can see the results have come up. You want to do another search, you press the microphone button again. What is the weather like tomorrow in London? I have 24 and a low of 12. I had my I had the speaker muted so you saw that worked. Now another cool feature that I have to show you is the external speaker which I've got off at the moment. So you can turn on the external speaker. We got the external speaker on. So suppose you had this screen off. So the television is off. All you have is your microphone and your TV box. You can actually check weather and stuff and hear everything on the speaker. So for example, what is the weather like tomorrow in London. Tomorrow in London, it'll be mostly cloudy with a high of 24 and a low of 12. So let's try something else out. Tell me a joke. 
Why can't you trust an atom? Because they make up literally everything. So that is what you can expect from the far field voice control. It does work, but it needs to be activated via the button. Now for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level one. And here is CPU Z showing you the clock speeds, firmware versions and root information. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we got download speeds of 68 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. And our current top speeds in our office is between 67 to 70 megabits per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench multi-score of 1079. And in the Antutu benchmark test version 7, we achieved a total score of 16K, but you can see the GPU record was zero. So this test as a result is inconclusive. So I went ahead and installed version six of anti two benchmark tests. And in that version, we achieved 22 K. So let's see how that compares with the others. So that brings us to my top Android TV box chart of 2019, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. And as you can see, the MXQ cube S 10 X has taken position 38, at the bottom of the table with a benchmark score of 22K and a rating of six out of 10. Now you can view the full versions of my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the MXQ Cube S10X. So here are my thoughts on this device. You have unofficial Android TV OS version seven. It's generally smooth in operation. You can play basic games. The box supports 4K YouTube, Netflix, and 4K from USB drives. But personally, I recommend using this box as a 1080p streamer. Furthermore, you have Bluetooth and great Wi-Fi speeds. Now the drawbacks, no USB 3, not official Android TV OS, no screen mirroring option. YouTube 4K is stuttery with dropped frames. Asphalt 8 is also laggy with dropped frames and Android 7 is a little outdated. Bottom line, a modest performing box from an old S905X chip. This box costs around $30 and for the price you're getting a decent 1080p streamer with a very good Netflix 4K performance. And to sweeten the deal, you have a great hands-free voice control system, which does work very well. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.